So when we think about what's at stake in this election, whoa, it's packed with some stuff. <laughs> it's packed with some fundamental stuff. <laughs> I say rather articulately. <laughs> There's so much at stake. Mayor, you mentioned John McCain. Okay, so I'll tell you, um, I was in the United States Senate for about four years, and, um, and I worked with John McCain. And so I'll tell you, um, so there was this, we were on a committee together, and you know, these committee rooms in the United States Senate, they're very grand and, and, and very impressive. And um, John McCain was on one side of the dais, I was on the other, horseshoe and he's going after me. He's going after me. We're having some conversation, I think it was about one of the nominees. This is during President Trump's years. He's going after me. And I'm going back after him. I'm going back after him. And that was it, and this is what the public saw. And then I step onto the floor of the well of the Senate later that day, we had votes. And I passed by John McCain. And he looks at me and he says, kid, come over here. <laughs> You're gonna make a great senator. <laughs> True story. True story. True story. That was John McCain. That was John McCain. I was talking about him last night at a rally, right? John McCain, who, you know, we didn't agree on everything. But man, I mean, what about an incredible American hero? Again, strength. Strength. Right? We know what the former president said about John McCain. I'm not going to repeat it here. But strength. John McCain stood on principle. He stood on a belief in the, in the importance of, of, of patriotism, of sacrifice, of what we stand for as a country. And part of what I talked about at a rally last night is I, I shared with the folks in the room, I, I was there on the Senate floor way into the middle of the night when it was yet another attempt of the former president to get rid of the Affordable Care Act, which as we know has been a, literally a lifesaver for people, right? What it has done to no longer allow pre-existing conditions to be the reason that an insurance company can't give you assistance, right? And you all may have seen it. I was there on the floor that night. And we were all standing around because whether or not the Affordable Care Act would continue to be relied on one vote. And we were all standing on the floor. And of course, I had voted to keep going. And, and I say this, and it sounds like it's out of a movie, but this is how I experienced it. On the flo floor with my colleagues, and the Senate, well, it was late into the night, and they, in the Senate, they, they, you walk onto the Senate floor and there are these big wooden ornate doors. And those ornate doors opened. <laughs> and John McCain came out. <laughs> and he went to the floor and he said, no you don't. I said, no you don't. No you don't take away health care for millions of people. And that is but one example of an individual that we all respect, who put country before party in terms of what they thought was right. I am honored to have the endorsement of Jeff Flake, someone I also worked with. Again, putting country before party. And so I say all of that to say that those are examples that are situated right here in this beautiful state of Arizona. A tradition that everyone and all of us, I will say, stand on. And then, of course, most recently, what Maricopa did in terms of the clerk refusing to participate in the intention to undo the will of the people in a free and fair election. The people of this state have always shown extraordinary courage to stand up for the principles upon which we as a country were founded. And I thank you for that. I thank you for that. I 